We have big news to kick off the show, beginning with having a halftime performer already for the upcoming 2021 Super Bowl halftime show. Y'all are looking right at him. It is the weekend. He is going to be taking America's biggest stage on February 7th in Tampa, Florida. Now, the weekend teased the big news prior to the announcement on Instagram with videos of himself that you're seeing right here with flashing blue lights, which is very much like vibes of the weekend. So no one really put two and two together that it was the halftime show, but he <laughs> did caption it saying, performing on the iconic stage, T CU 2721, which is so hard to imagine, you know, a halftime show already, you know, just in the beginning of the, the new year, being that everything is happening right now the way it is with the pandemic. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm really here for this performer. Deidre, what, what are your thoughts? Oh my gosh, this is such a slam dunk of a choice for a halftime show performer. I think we've really seen over the last decade, The weekend really come to become one of the most influential artists that we have today, not only because he's a brilliant songwriter, he's a brilliant singer, but I think what makes him especially fitting for the Super Bowl is this guy like breathes cinematic performances. You know that it's gonna include insane lights, insane sets, um, it's gonna have a narrative and like a really strong through line. I think he's going to bring so much cool and um, vibrant energy to the Super Bowl halftime show. 100%. He's just that caliber. When I think of a performer, that's exactly what you have to do. You have to perform and you have to give one hell of a performance for, you know, right. nearly 10 minutes and you have to captivate not only, you know, a live audience, which we don't know if there is going to be one, but millions of people on screen. And I love that you mentioned the colors because, I mean, just looking at these images right here, whatever he does, whether it's a concert, whether it's a virtual performance, I mean, he goes all out. So, you know, he, he was a perfect choice for this halftime performance and which is why it's no surprise that Jay-Z is very happy about this. Of course, Jay-Z's Rock Nation is serving as the strategic entertainment advisors of the Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show. So I'm sure he uh, had a lot of input here with this decision. You know, last year, Jay-Z talked about how he planned to advise the NFL on the artist that would be selected to play the halftime show after his company entered into this long-term partnership with the NFL as, you know, the league's official live music entertainment strategist. And I will say, you know, so far, they've been knocking it out of the park. Actually, that is a baseball pun. Um, and <laughs> you, had a, you, you had a basketball pun, Deidre, when you said slam dunk. We got to get yes, some football sorry, guys. pun stuff in here. Sorry, but they don't want us to talk about sports. <laughs> hashtag sports. We'll stick to we'll stick to um, the entertainment and pop culture. We'll stick yeah. to the facts. And one of the facts being that Jay Z did release a statement about the news of the weekend headlining, and he said the weekend has introduced a sound all his own. His soulful uniqueness has defined a new generation of greatness in music and artistry. This is an, is an extraordinary moment in time, and the Pepsi Super Bowl Fifty Five halftime show is going to be an extraordinary experience with an extraordinary performer. Count however how many times we said extraordinary right there. I, I take it we're going to have an extraordinary halftime show. <laughs> it's really, it, you, you can't say extraordinary enough when it comes to an artist like The Weeknd because, you know, even if you take a look at the last year. He's had he's had so many phenomenal albums and and I imagine it's so hard when when the the bar is so high. How do you keep out doing yourself? And he managed to do so this year of course with his chart topping album after hours. Um you know, not not only does he give us uh those signature weekend songs, but he's also never shy to collaborate with others. You know, just recently he sang in Spanish. I mean, can we give a standing ovation for that moment right there? <laughs> he hopped on Maluma's track called Hawaii. So I'm start, you know, I'm starting to brainstorm who are we gonna see pop up on stage with the weekend? I think naturally Hawaii being such a fun um and big song, seeing the two of them on stage together, Maluma and the weekend, that could be super cool. And I gotta tell you, Cassie, I am so thrilled that the weekend is the halftime show performer this year. But if it wasn't the weekend, 
My vote's for Ariana Grande. I think that it's overdue. That girl deserves to be on the Super Bowl halftime show stage. And I think if she wants to kind of dip her toe in and maybe get a little feel for it, she could be an amazing surprise guest. Of course, their song Love Me Harder was such an anthem uh, when it came out a few years ago. Other names that kind of come to mind, of course, Daft Punk, who, who The Weeknd worked with on Starboy and I Feel It Coming. And uh, of course, we've got Kendrick Lamar in there. They worked on Sidewalks together mm -hmm. and Future, if you want Want to throw in another rapper uh they collaborated on the song all i know who are you hoping I, for you know what i think you hit the nail on the head right there with ariana grande especially because they just collaborated recently for her new album so i think she's a perfect choice for it i think she can handle the show on her own as a headliner but yes. i would like to see her dip her toes in you know in the sand right here with the halftime show right. all i'll say my last words is jay-z feel free to add Deidre and I to your strategy team and we'll help you think of uh, some guests but we do know Super Bowl 55 will air on Sunday February 7th 2021 on CBS